day 83. I like that one. Put the skies on, get me recognized. I like that one. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. Champ. Day one, champ. I hear you. <laughs> Y'all stupid though. <laughs> oh, them boys messing with me. Look, I say day three. One hundred ball slams. Might do some squats, deadlifts, or something like that with that. Let's do it. Jim Bully.
still, still fasting. Wow, and next to greatness. Was that Sunday? What is that? What's that? What is that?
made it. <laughs> my idols, my idols, my idols. Look at him, look at him. Day 83. This week. Sorry. Hey, I'm going to show y'all some of my idols. 
See that big guy right there, that big guy? That's my idol. And that's another guy right there. That's my idol right there. <laughs> Look at those guys I look up to when I come up here for motivation. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Uh, be like that guy. <laughs> be like that guy. All right. This is day three or four of fasting. Uh, I have abstained from eating since Sunday night. And uh, I'm feeling a little weird today. I was trying to figure out where it's from, but because I'm sleepy. <laughs> but uh, I meant to say this yesterday for fasting. I'm not doing this as to uh, lose weight. Uh, that's what's happening. But my main goal, I usually try to do this once a month, maybe twice a month anyway, for my Crohn's to reset my system, so to speak. Eating so much. Uh, mess my stomach up a little bit every now and then. So I try to abstain from eating to just uh, get my gut health a rest. But I also uh, have been losing weight because of that. Of course, you can lose weight when you're not eating, something like that. I do not recommend working that well. Play it by ear. Uh, don't do a full workout. Listen to your body. Always listen to your body. If you, of course, you know you're not eating, you're not getting fuel to your body, so you have to get that fuel from somewhere. So you actually have to know where you get the fuel from to keep pushing the head. So do your research. Know what you're doing before you do it. But uh, another great workout. Feeling good. Uh did 100 reps. Actually, I feel better than I was before. You always feel better after a good workout. That's usually always the case, but I do feel a whole lot better than I did earlier today after getting the workout out. Uh, to be honest, I'm not hungry. I don't really get hungry. I only eat because I know I use the food for fuel. So I like to eat a lot. Uh, I like all kinds of food, so to speak. I haven't been eating meat and plant-based for a while. Uh, and I, I haven't enjoyed that journey. And that journey has allowed me to get off certain medicines that I was on. So I'm very thankful for that. To God to be the glory. That, you know, I still have one medication I take twice a month. It's about a shot. Uh, most of y'all probably heard Himera. That's supposed to help. I guess I look at it as keeping me at the hospital besides God. It's God and it's medicine. <laughs> so I've been doing that for a couple of years now. And uh, I'm at the hospital. I ain't been in the hospital for the last six years. So I've been definitely been blessed. But uh, I'm very thankful for this journey. Day 83, still going, still pushing. Uh, yeah, still at it. What's up, pain? Just finished getting it in, guy. But, uh, yeah, just thank you for this. Thank you for the opportunity to come up here and, I guess you say, sweat it out. But uh, uh, God has given me the strength to push through things I thought was obstacles in my life. It's actually just stepping stones. i got to use what you're given. If God slows you down, appreciate the slow down. But uh, keep moving forward. You can't stop. You can't stop. That's the biggest thing. You got to keep going. You got to find your motivation somehow. You got to find your why. And my why is my health. Uh, and I want to be around when my grandkids are born and stuff to play with them. I don't want to be all hurting and can't move and stuff like that. I want to be running around with them. So 
I'm making provisions now to make sure that happens. And we have to look out for our health. We can't just keep on being, uh, my favorite word for this whole generation, comfortable with the way things are. We have to change the way we're doing things to make better things happen. So with that, I'm done. Thank y'all for watching. And uh, till tomorrow, go.